<laughs> I don't know what that was. Yo, what's up everybody? I'm Lubenstein. <laughs> And in today's video, we'll be doing a beginner's guide, but also it will also be a general guide for beginners. But yeah, let's get to the loadout first. Now, I'll be te I'll not give you I'll not just give you a loadout that you have to follow to the teeth. I'll teach you what to look for when making your loadout, the ways of the loadout. Okay. First, we need the bomb plants, of course, and steel balls are really good, so we'll go 50-50. Now, for the secondary, it doesn't actually matter, but a good rule to go by is if you're confident in your shot, go with a high power pistol like the uppercut or a sparks pistol. But if you're less confident, also if you're if you are confident in your shot, you can go with a semi-automatic pistol. Semi-automatic pistols they give you more leg room for missing. So that's what I'll be doing in this video. I'll go with a semi-automatic pistol because that's probably what most of you guys will do. I'm not saying that you're bad or anything. I mean, you clicked on a beginner's guide. What did you expect? If you're using a compact ammo, I highly recommend the FMJ so you can wall bang because compact ammo, which is small ammo, has no penetration. Now for the tools, I highly, uh, well, first of all, it's very sad, but you have to go with another melee weapon. Why? Because the bomb lens is a sharp melee weapon, so when you come up against emulators, you have to have a second melee weapon, which sucks, but it is what it is. Now we need a medkit, of course. Now here, most people would go with a choke, but because we're solo and we are playing a close range loadout, so we need to be able to be aggressive. Now for the last, I highly recommend you go with throwing axes or throwing knives. Now for the consumables, there are two things that you must have, which is a vitality shot, worst case scenario. If you don't have doctor or physician, well, actually, if you don't have doctor or physician, a vitality shot is a must. But if you have doctor and physician, you can get away with not using one. Because worst case scenario, if you get hit by a high power gun, then you, you need to use two med kits, which is going to take a long time and give the enemies enough time to push you. But yeah, my second recommendation, or it's like a must when using a melee loadout, is a stamina shot. Because you don't want to be out of stamina when you're just about to melee somebody. Now, for the last two, it's kind of your choice. What I'm gonna go with, and if you wanna copy me, feel free. I'm gonna go with a frag bomb because explosives are really clutch. And frag bomb is the best explosive. And for the last, I'm actually gonna go with the antidote shot because if you get hit by poison and you're solo, then you are quite literally disabled for the duration of the poison because you don't wanna peek because you, you've just taken a lot of damage. So you one shot if you peek and it's good to just be able to heal up quickly and not give the enemies enough time to push you because you'll be close quarters with this close range loadout. So the enemies you're fighting might push you with a shotgun or some shit. So it's always good to have an antidote shot as a solo. But then again, you don't always come up against poison users. So it's really up to you if you want to have poison or not. But I'm leaving nothing up to risk. Guys, I almost forgot. The most important rule is to stay hydrated. Go and hydrate yourself right now. If you're not hydrated, if you are dehydrated, this guide will not work for you. Click off the video right now. Oh yeah. And also, when you spawn in, right, you may be like just standing here cluelessly waiting. But look on the map. Open the map, check where you are. Because most likely there is one, there is possibility of one or two teams at each compound. So there can be people from my right side or left side. So be sure to check your sides consistently. All right. Okay. This is a bit complicated, but look. The way... Okay, so we are here, right? We are by bus number one. So it grayed out here and here. So most likely, the bus is furthest or like in the center for it grayed out. So that does mean it's at Alice Farm because that's too close to the gray, which most likely means that the bus is at Scuppered Lake or Chapel. I think it's going to be at Chapel. So I don't know if that made sense, but by the way it grays out, the bus is going to be on the opposite side of where it grays out. Now you may have noticed I have my steel bolts ready. I switched to steel bolts and that's because if out of nowhere I'm going to get a shack attack upon me, I can just quickly shotgun him with the steel bolts. And there's people fighting at Scupper and at Healing Church. It's Guys, when you have gunshots, it's always important to uh, find out what direction the gunshot came from. Always important. 
so you have a map knowledge of where everybody is. Because when you play maximum, there's 12 people in the server. Just clearing out the angles. Yeah, there's maximum 12 people in one lobby. So that's three teams or 12 solos. But of course it's mixed, right? And there can be um, six duos. So I've heard gunshots over there and over here. I'm just going to keep an eye out and always while I'm pushing this compound, I'm always staying behind cover. Like you saw that I pushed behind the tree, so I'm pushing behind this to stay behind cover always. Now, I'm going to pop a stamina shot because we're about to engage in a fight. And I'll actually switch to my explosive arrows because I'll probably be shooting them at range most likely and I'll pop my antidote. Because people can be running poison ammo. Toolbox, that's quite perfect. Okay, I first want to find out where the enemies are before I just brainlessly start running towards their gunshots. So I'll just be looking and hopefully not get shot in the head. Keep moving sideways. And don't keep one consistent pattern, like walk a little bit further to the right one time to avoid somebody uh, learning your pattern and headshotting you easily. We're in some crouches. Yeah, it's weird. I'm pretty sure I heard gunshots here, but I'm not seeing anybody. So what I'm going to do is brainlessly push. Yeah. Let's see if this clue turns red when I get close. If not, then I know this area. Oh, there I saw him. Did I miss all my shots? Alright, this meathead is a bit annoying, so I'll kill it easily with the bomb plants. Yeah. Now I'm gonna try to kill this guy with a bit of swag. Because I'm cool like that. Oh, the bell. The bus. Oh, I hit the bell again. Okay. I need to stop playing right now. I'm playing too much. Okay. Good thing he's incendiary and he missed. He has a spark, so I don't want to peep. I'm going to shoot that so I can rotate on the right. I need to get inside quickly because the bomb dance is a close range good weapon. Oh shit, I see him far away. This is really bad because this parch is gonna one shot me. Okay. I'm gonna do this for another one so he runs away. Did I just get shotgunned? He has to reload it. I'm gonna rush quickly. Yep. Always use your ears, guys. Now, it's actually white, so this guy is a solo. Oh my goodness, that wasn't even a one shot. That could have ended really badly. Make sure to keep an eye out on different angles when you're looting. OMG, I am settling right now. I don't know why you're watching this guy, I suck. Bro, this guy is just giving me free kills. Okay. Um, hmm. This is bad. We're out of meds and we're missing a bar. Hold on. I hear somebody. Somebody's inside. 
gonna kill him while the assassin is on him. Oh shit, I almost forgot to reload. Let's switch to seal balls because we're at close range. We wanna insta kill them. Somebody's close. I need to listen for footsteps. Really important. I hear somebody right here. It's really important I kill this assassin and get the banished because one of them have uh, sparks. And that sparks will one shot me anywhere in the body. Somebody's cooking. I'm gonna hide over here. Make sure to always listen for footsteps. Really good that I got the banished though. Always listen for everything. Your ears are your best friend when playing Hunt. Somebody is walking in wood, meaning he's inside. He's like right on top of me here. What I'm gonna do... It, oh, I think we just traded. I think he headshot at me. Yeah, he headshot at me. Okay. Wait, what does this mean? I've, I've never seen this before. I think it's wait, is it a soul? I think it's just self rest. He just healed, but I uh, probably doesn't have resilience. Gonna throw a dynamite right here. I just saw him. I'm gonna switch to something at a little more range. So I'm like right here. He's outside. Okay, at least I stalk him. I'll be able to rest first. This guy's is he's he's either lagging or something because he keeps killing me instantly. I'm pretty sure it's a solo. Switch the seal balls real quick so I can insta kill him. This is so annoying. Okay, that was so lucky. He's reloading. This is why I got FMJ. I try and wall bang him. Oh, yeah. That's why you get FMJ. And this is the Sparks guy as well. Man, this is the second. Wait, does he have a teammate? Was he being neckled? Or was he self rezzing hearing anybody and I wasn't recording 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 I wasn't recording. I just took these guys out with absolute style and I wasn't recording. Alright guys, so I forgot to record, but basically I just killed this guy. Uh, the way I killed him was I was sneaking up here, then I jumped him with the bomb lands. Then I threw a frag, and these two people started bleeding. So what I did was I jumped down here, and basically I shot my 
incendiary and killed this guy at this insane range, which was super epic, and I wasn't fucking recording. Then I peeked this guy, and he had a shotgun, so I ran like this. I sh had my fanning ready, and I died pew 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 pew, and I hit him a bit. Then I ran back here. Then he is now behind this thing, so what I do is I throw a dynamite here, and I bait the shit out of him, and then he runs out and into the dynamite, because he thought I threw the dynamite behind him. And imagine I wasn't fucking recording. It just imagine that. Holy shit. That scared the shit out of me. Right, let's push this guy while he's bleeding. I'll push him with the chaos actually, he'll run out of cover. And I'll bomb lance him with my testicles. Nice, that's a good tank. Is it just a swallow? Yeah, this guy's a sniper, it's probably him. I'll give you five seconds to res yourself, I'll burn your body. Go. Alright, that didn't work somehow. I'll let him live. Let me just empty out his gun so he has to reload. I'll just empty it out completely, actually. Yeah, that's enough actually. Right. Oh, there's more. Something just started burning. Oh shit, they're pushing me. It's his teammates. This is why the headsman is good. If I was a white shirt, they would see me straight through these bushes. And maybe see him through here, but I am. Not. He was down there. Yeah. I think this is a completely new trio, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like they're coming in clutch. No, I see you're right. You need the headsman for that. Bow is coming in clutch.
Oh wait, there's more. Oh, yo, yo, and there's more concertina traps everywhere. Of ammo. I think I'll just let him bleed out. Oh shit, there's a steamer. And he is a good shot. This is a good angle, actually. Lol, it's not his teammate? Dude, 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 dude. This is bad. I have to stop the fleet first. I got one med kit left. I gotta get to full health first. All about who's the fastest. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna serve on the bounce here. Oh, okay. Two people. The middle on our arrows. There's one guy behind me. I need to loot this guy for a medkit. This guy behind me, I think I'm gonna try and kill with an arrow. Probably not. I only have one medkit. I gotta fight close. I don't have enough medkits to um, take damage a little bit of a time. Another med cap, nice. I saw him. Nice. Quickly. That's a fun 
Oh. Come on. Somewhere. This guy just saved me and then I killed him. I'm out of seconds. Gotta load. Wait, what? Oh, there's a fucking sniper among us. Uh, can you get out of this water quick? Where did that come from? Oh, over there. I think that means I can loot this guy. Yeah, just one guy left. Yeah, somebody rests on the right side. It's kind of water. Nice. Ah, it's the Berthier guy I killed in the beginning. Dude, wait, is everybody a solo? That was kinda crazy. I never had a lobby with more solos than this. Oh, he's out of ammo, I love. That's why I emptied out his weapon. Fucking brass. And she's a medkit now. Is he running for the extract? Yeah, okay. We'll not allow that. That's illegal. <clears throat> the guy behind me rest, but it's fine. We'll kill him later. Great. Yeah, perfect time to be stuck. I just gotta stop it. There's the people behind me. Okay, well, there's an arrow. That's where did this guy go? Yeah. I'm gonna loot this guy real quick and get a second. Oh, he, he probably looted a weapon with ammo. That's just one guy. We gotta make sure we finish the job. Am I blind? I am blind. Let's finish with style. He bro thinks I'm out of ammo. <laughs> Blood can actually go on. Okay. Oh. 
Did I have pitcher? Oh, I have pitcher. That's fine. Where are you? Wait, what? Oh, he's up here. Hmm. Is he gonna sell for us? Ah, oh, this is enough. I'm just gonna throw these bees on him and then extract. Gonna come after me? No, right. Yeah. This guy probably wanted to extract because he only had one bar, but uh, one bar left. Sadly, that he had to die. Plants is really good, right? But I think the katana might be a better choice because it's so fast at milling people. Um, I died a few times where when I rest that um, that I like I traded with another soul and we rest at the same time and then I would always lose the fight because the bomb plants when you do a heavy attack or a light attack you have to charge it, which uh, kind of which is very slow. So yeah, overall it's a good, really really good um, weapon, especially with steel balls. We got so many steel ball kills crazy yeah and my favorite combo was actually with the bow so i would actually highly recommend you use the bow it might be hard if you're a beginner though since the bow i don't know does it take skill to use the bow yeah yeah it, it does i remember the first time i used it i had to learn for quite a long time like it took a while to learn it but definitely a combo worth learning that was a, it was a lot of fun but yeah guys i hope you enjoyed and if you made it till the end use the cowboy emoji or actually, we've been using the cowboy emoji a lot. There might be a lot of scammers out there. Use the, um, just put a smiley face in your comment if you um, made it this far. See ya.